Hello everyone. I wanted to jump on really quick and make a short little video addressing the negative comments on my last video regarding my thoracentesis. I couldn't believe how many people were so upset in the comments and honestly it made me sad. It was bringing me down a little bit. I don't want to see negativity like that. I know you guys are just protective and caring for me and hoping that I'm in good hands. But when I tell you I'm in good hands at City of Hope, I am telling you the honest to God truth. I made the biggest insurance switch when I was first diagnosed in order to be at City of Hope because City of Hope makes me feel more cared for than I have ever felt at any hospital or dentist or any type of medical um, facility. They are the kindest people, so professional, smart. They're just literally perfect. I could not be happier with my treatment there at City of Hope. I did have a lot of pain from my thoracentesis and I am still getting over that pain, slowly recovering, but I am doing so as comfortably as possible with the help of my pain management team at City of Hope. The thing with thoracentesis is, is typically they don't cause pain and most people who get them don't get pain. It is a very non-invasive procedure and my first one that I had did not hurt me at all. There was a little discomfort when the catheter went through my ribs and that was it. There was no pain afterwards. It was fine, easy peasy. But my journey with fluid around my lung began over a year ago. And through that time, my body has just struggled with it, with it growing and getting drained and growing and chemo killing it and growing. It's just never ending with this fluid in me. So my body struggles with it. And I have a friend at City of Hope who is actually a viewer here, and she gets her thoracentesis is from City of Hope and has no pain at all. So it's nothing City of Hope's doing. It's just the way my body is reacting to this procedure. It's not even the procedure. It's um, if you learn about fluid around the lung, which I'm learning about since I'm going through it, um, the all of the nerves and pain is felt in the lining around the lung. And when I have fluid in between the lining and my rib cage, it's keeping the lining of my lung from rubbing against stuff. It's just floating. <laughs> and when the fluid drains, then the lining of my lung, lung all of a sudden reaches the rib cage again and it's not used to being rubbed against it. I've had fluid for so long, so when it gets drained, it really hurts me, and it's all those um, nerve, I, I don't know the proper lingo, so forgive me, but it's all the nerve receptors like being activated in a way, and so that's why I think it hurts me so bad. Just the way someone could receive eight rounds of chemo alongside 30 rounds of radiation to the chest and be cancer free. I had that happen, the treatment that is, and I am not cancer free. Everybody's react, uh, body reacts differently to treatment and for some reason, a thoracentesis hurts me very badly and um, it has nothing to do with my hospital. The reason I didn't get the pain injection before my procedure was I was in a room that could not, <clears throat> excuse me, could not administer the medication. And it was kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place. I could get the procedure done quicker, literally within hours of finding out that the fluid was growing in my lungs. So possibly the cancer is spreading. Literally within hours of that, I could get the procedure done without the injection, and I agreed to that. 
or I could wait and get it in a room where I could get the pain injection first. And I decided to take my chances and go with the quicker procedure and ended up having a lot of pain. I don't think there's anyone to blame. I don't think there's anyone at fault. It was just, we're trying to get answers as quickly as possible. I am too. I'm so grateful for my team getting me in there as quickly as they could. And as soon as I did have the pain, it was boom, boom, boom. They had me in the ETC, which is like the emergency type area of the hospital. They had me in the ETC room as quickly as I checked in. Like I barely even had to wait any time. As soon as they got me in, they were administering me medications. They gave me all different kinds of stuff. They had a patch for medic pain patch for me as well. Like it was the best care I could have hoped for. I know I sound protective in this video. It's because I am. I love City of Hope so much. And I, I make this, I have this channel. I make these videos as a way to document my journey, mainly for my kids to look back on and to update my friends and family. At the beginning of this journey, it was really hard to individually text and call each person and tell them what was going on. So I decided, I decided to start making these videos where I could update a big group of people all at once. And then people started following along, strangers. And I enjoy that because I have a great community of people and we all help each other. And so one of my goals is to also help others going through this. But what was I saying? Um, my point is I started this channel to leave memories for my kids so they could look back on this journey. I don't want any hate or negativity. I want prayers and positivity and positive thoughts and all the good stuff. So with that said, I hope you guys know I'm doing better. I'm okay. My hospital is amazing. And I have an appointment. My next appointment there is next week. And I will update you guys with that when I go. Um, yeah. So if we could try to be a little more positive, I would appreciate it so much. Just because I'm a sensitive little soul and it hurts my feelings to see so much negativity. Also, that video got so many views. I don't know why. And when I have more views than I do followers, I tend to get more negative comments. So maybe that's why. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just making this video to say I'm okay. No one's at fault. We're all good. I love you and appreciate you all. I hope you have a great day. I will see you soon. Bye.